All right, this is the video you've been waiting for. So after the Supra project, you've been asking me to swap the engine to four cylinder or inline six cylinder, just like JDM cars, Supra and R34 Nissan Skyline, which you can see to JZ engine or RB26. But some of you asked me to keep this project like this and change the engine with a different project. So that's what I will do. I will keep the Simpto engine two cylinder engine with the Supra project and I will do new project with four cylinder engine. So this project will be Nissan Skyline R34. The chassis will be same but I will change some designs here and there just to keep the rigidity of the chassis and make it stronger and also make the engine bay a bit bigger. So for that I have a Toyans 4 cylinder gasoline engine. It's a water cooled engine looking very nice and 3D printed exhaust but there are things I don't like about this engine. First of all the intake. The intake is very thin and also that carburetor is not good it's not supposed to be here if we put it like this it will stick out from the hood so i will change the design of this intake and put the carburetor in front but i have another idea should i put the carburetor straight in front or give it 45 degree angle so that's what we're gonna do in today's video i will redesign the intake and also i will adjust the chassis so we can put the four cylinder toyan engine in the engine bay okay so if we put the engine the length's not going to be a problem but the intake is a bit odd and that carburetor over there it will be sticking out from the hood but we will change that and even the intake is a bit thin and i'm sure if we turn the engine on it will be suffocating i'm not sending enough air to the engine and the exhaust for now it's fine but most of you told me that I should keep the air suspension so I'll move the servos to the side and totally I have moved 13 millimeter to the side and that give me enough room for this engine in the engine bay and I'm not sure that I will keep the fans over here maybe I will remove it and put electrical fan but yeah we will see so my idea is to redesign the intake and also put the carburetor in front but I'm not sure if I put the carburetor straight or put it in 45 degree angle but I will design both of them and you guys gonna decide which one should I use on this project. Alright so let's get into the SketchUp and redesign the intake and also adjust the chassis for Toyan's 4 cylinder gasoline engine. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. Think about PCBWay as all-in-one platform for CNC machining, 3D printing, sheet metal fabrication, and injection molding. If you are working on a custom design like me and you want to have highest 3D print quality, this is the way to go. You just have to upload the STL file here, choose the material, and it will tell you the price and shipping days. PCBWay is linked in the video description box below for more information. Thanks to PCBWay for sponsoring this video. All right, we are back. One of them is straight carburetor and the other one I gave it 45 degree angle just to push the carburetor a bit to the side. But we will try both of these and you guys gonna decide which one should I use on this project. And this is a resin printed, so resin printed not gonna survive with that engine heat. So we will send it to PCB way to be 3D printed with metal or I'm thinking about titanium, but we'll see. Alright, the engine in the engine bay with the new intake, but I have a problem with the carburetor. I can't reach that adjusting screw from here. I have to cut the chassis, but I'm not going to do that. It will weaken the chassis and I don't want to change this design here because it will give the integrity for the chassis. So the good thing about this, we can turn the carburetor upside down and put it like this. There are a few things which will be 
better the fuel line will be here and it's easier access adjusting from here but the throttle will be here which we have the server here it will be easier access but i was a fan of this putting this at the top but i think with this project we're not gonna do that and it's a good thing because most of you have been telling me that hide this and hide the servo so it will be more realistic so this is what we will do the engine is not fully horizontal because i have to cut the chassis because it has that oil pan thing and it's making it a bit higher so i will cut the chassis from here and then i will redesign the chassis mount we can put it like this so far so good but let me guys know which one do you prefer me to use the straight carburetor or the 45 degree angle carburetor intake before putting the exhaust i saw some support material in the exhaust so i had to clean it especially here so if you have this engine don't turn on the engine before for cleaning this because most of the supports are not clean it so you're gonna have to do it yourself but I was thinking to redesign this because these lengths are not equal the four cylinder pipe is not equal just like the first one because if we see here this one takes longer time to get here and for this one it's shorter time so it has to be like a turn and it will be equal just like the first one so maybe I'll do something like this and it will give the engine way better sound and I will make it a bit thicker and bigger should I keep it like this or change the exhaust just like a professional one so with this project there are other things I should be considering because this four cylinder engine is a bit heavier than Simto engine almost like a double size and double the weight so this car's front will be way heavier than the back so I'm thinking about to put the battery and also the fuel tank at the back just to give it a balance with the weight but we will see this is what I've been thinking all right we are done with the engine and an intake manifold so what i will do i will send this to pcb way to be 3d printed with metal or titanium and i will also share the prices how much it will cost to ship it to me with this project i want to do something different and i'm trying to use better material for this project so what i'm asking you guys which intake should i use the straight one or the 45 degree angle and should i redesign the exhaust this is your project i'm gonna do what is most likely to comment about hope you guys enjoying the project the file is not ready for downloading i will make sure to put everything right and then i will upload the file so stay tuned for that thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye for now